That's cute. Let me see your bump. Look, Grayson. <laughs> hey guys. So I wanted to formally introduce you to our kinky, our kinked caramel ball python. She is about nine years old now. She is, in fact, the rescue. We rescued her when she was tiny, like, I mean, skinny, tiny, maybe, like, a week old. Um, I've never been much of a reptile lady, but Sabrina wanted a snake. We had only been together for about a year, and I was going to let her get a snake. We went to the breeder, because we got her from a breeder. Um... We were going to get her, and, well, we were originally going to get a brown regular ball python. Except, we saw her, the breeder showed us her, and told us that he was going to freeze her. Because she was deformed. And, of course, me being me, thinking I can save her, we'll have her for a little bit, she probably won't survive much, because she's kinked pretty bad. Um, well, you know, give her a good life until she passes, except nine years later, and we still have her, which is absolutely okay. I love her. She's great. She has some shit on her. She's great. Um, she's great with everybody. Everybody holds her. Everybody loves her. She likes getting rubbed. She loves attention. She is kinked. She has all these kinks on her body. Her tail is pretty bad. She has all these kinks on her body. Go from the top view. That's these. She has this big one. Then she goes pretty normal for a little bit. And then she has her head one. So her head can never really be straight because of this kink. So in the beginning, it was actually really rough to feed her because of her neck kink. And we managed. We managed. We used to give her tiny fuzzies. She never liked frozen. She always wants to eat live. She's always eating live. So considering the fact that it's already stressful enough for her to eat, we just give her what she wants. So we actually give her live mice. Um, we used to give her fuzzies, pinkies, now we actually give her mice. We just help her eat them sometimes. Sometimes she's a champ and she does it all by herself. We took her to the vet once because she didn't shed properly and her eye bulged out. And the vet told us that we were stupid for having her and that she was going to die. And that why have a deformed snake that we should just put her down. We were pissed. You could believe we were pissed. Um, we paid no mind. We got whatever we needed to fix her. To help her eye. With the shedding. Um, I don't know what it is that it's called. It pretty much got infected because it had a layer of shed. I don't know. It looked like her eye was going to bulge out. It was pretty freaky. He gave us ointment and she got all better. And this is her. This is our little kink snake. Drayson loves her. He, like I said, he's good with everybody. Everyone in our family holds her. We've put her outside in the grass. We give her baths to shed her. So you'll be seeing her around in our videos. Is there a little kinked one? You have some shit on your face, kink. Gotta shed you. She loves being out of her tank. She loves wandering. She's a really good snake. I'm glad that we saved her. And the breeder never froze her. I can't even imagine. So, this is her. And for reference, guys, because I did mention this in the video. 
Does she grow claws? This is what I am referring to. Those little weird things. Pretty gross. I think it's pretty gross. Is it cool skinked? Me? No, not me. Who is kinked? Me? No, not me. No, not me. Are you going, Kinky? So I do feed her live mice. Who's Kinky? That is the mouse. Let's see. She grabs it for you guys. So we're taking Kinky Bee in a bath because she doesn't shed properly all the time because of her kinks. She can't rub them, rub it off the right way. Sometimes she sheds nicely. Other times, she only gets like about half of it off. So we take her a little more bath. You're wetting her head? Okay, good job. And then we'll rub her head a little bit because as you see, she's a little grayish. And look, that's her shed. I'll get her little head. If there's a little bit left, we leave it because it's nice and mushy. So she'll take it off of herself. Um, I know you love the snake and she loves you. Guys, remember the snake is older than him, so he's known her his whole life, so he doesn't know any better. <laughs> Alright, get to cleaning. You love Kinky? You're telling Kinky that that's Rocky? Oh, do you love Kinky? Yeah. That's your snake? Yeah. Uh, a lot of mommy snakes? How many mommies do you have? Two. Good job. So this is two mommy snakes and your snake? Two. Snakes are Not two mommy snakes. You shedding kink? You have shit on your head? Is that kink one? Mm. Jason, loves. Jason loves himself some kink.
And in the meantime, while I'm here cleaning out Kinky, this is what Drayson thinks he's supposed to be doing while he babysits his life. He li she likes that home? He likes that home? Mm. Kinky likes it in there? Hiding from you? Yeah? No. No? No. This is Kinky's house as of right now. Think she approves. She is really a he. Kinky is in fact a boy. We just took her to the vet when she was younger and they told us that she was a girl. So we declared her a girl for a really long time. Until recently that she got um, these little claw things. Do you remember what they're called? At the end of her tail. And we were informed that that's what happens to boy snakes when they reach maturity. So, this is Kinky's habitat. Not much going on, but it needs to be very simple so she doesn't get stuck anywhere or get hurt. We've learned and experienced that the hard way. Yeah, no. Yeah, no, no, no. yeah so. Let's do moss. Yeah, yeah, we put moss there. Fine. So she could be nice and moist. We're going to wet everything. Fine. Because that's what we always do, baby. So, here's her kinked one. Guys, I think she definitely approves of her new habitat. Have her habitat clean out. Pretty much. Until Drayson starts banging stuff and she gets petrified. Kinky, kink one, I gotta shed your face. We have to shed your face. That's class. What you doing? You gotta smell me? You trying to smell me?